Let's talk about research databases. When you begin a research project, one of your first steps is to figure out what kinds of information you need, where to find them, and how to use the search features efficiently. Using high quality information sources can mean the difference between getting a failing grade and a great one. Not to mention that you always want to get your facts correct. Georgia State University Library's collection of research databases can connect you with high-quality information sources, including articles from scholarly journals, magazines, and newspapers, as well as electronic books, streaming videos, and many other types of information sources. Many of the information sources found in research databases are not available on the open web, so you cannot get to them from search engines like Google. In this video, I'll show you how to use research databases to get to the information you need using the Discover Search, the Discover Advanced Search, Databases by Subject, Databases by Name, and the Journal Search. Click on any of these to jump ahead. There are two easy ways to get to Georgia State University Library's research databases. The first way is to start on the library homepage at library.gsu.edu and use the Discover widget. When you use any of these links off campus, you will be prompted for your GSU username and password in order to access the database content. The second way to access GSU's research databases is to log into iCollege, then click on the Galileo link at the top of the homepage. This will take you to the Galileo homepage. Both the GSU Library homepage and the Galileo homepage have the same basic options for exploring databases. The Discover Search tool, which searches many but not all of the databases in one quick search. Databases by Subject will connect you to links to databases recommended for your subject area. Databases A through Z will connect you to specific databases by name. The Journal tab on the Library homepage and the Journals A through Z link on the Galileo homepage allow you to look for journals by the name of the journal. Let me demonstrate the way each of these works. I'm going to start from the Library homepage, but the links from the Galileo homepage work the same way. First, let's try the Discover Search tool. The Discover Search tool searches many, but not all, of Georgia State University's research databases, plus materials physically located in all GSU campus libraries. To use the Discover Search, just type in your search terms. My example research question is, are therapy dogs effective in helping children learn to read? So I'm going to use the search terms, dogs and reading. Here are my results. Let's look at this page. I have over 800,000 results. I can scan through them to see if I'm on the right track. Use the titles and subject terms to get an idea about the content of the item. If your results need to be more specific, add search terms. Now that our results appear to be on topic, let's look at these limiters on the left. Limiting to full text means all of your results will be available for you to read on your computer immediately. Some articles are only indexed, which means there's information about the article, but not the article itself. These articles will have a button, Find it at GSU. Clicking on this button will help you locate the item or request it from Interlibrary Loan. Clicking on full text eliminates these types of articles so that I only see results available for me to view immediately. Other options include seeing items from the library catalog only, scholarly and peer-reviewed journals, and the date. Always consider whether the date is important. For some topics, old information is no longer accurate, so narrow your results to information sources within an acceptable date range. We can also limit our results by type of resource. You can tell the type of resource by these icons academic journal articles, ebooks, periodical articles from magazines and newspapers. Select the kinds of information sources you're interested in. Show More gives you all the options. You can see other limiters down here. At the top of this column are all the limiters I have in place, and I can easily remove any of them by just clicking on the X.
Now let's look at the sort. These results are sorted by relevance. This is a computer-generated estimation of which results best suit my search criteria. A common mistake beginning researchers make is only looking at the first page of results. You are a better judge of the quality and relevance of the resource than a computer, so remember to look beyond the first page. If your topic is one where it's most important to get the most recent information, then change the sort to date newest. When you go to advanced search, you have more options for limiting your search. One option is to limit by academic discipline. This is another way to get items most relevant for your search. For this topic, I might want to look for information within the education discipline. You can also use the advanced search to create more complex searches. By default, this search assumes that you want all of your keywords in all of the results. The more keywords you use, the fewer and more specific your results. You can get more results by putting one concept on each line and then connecting similar terms with OR. For example, dogs or canine, children or youth. When you use OR, you get more results. Now let's look more closely at the results. I'm going to look at this one. When reading gets rough, canine assisted reading programs. That's the title of the article. Here I can see the author's names, the academic journal that published the article, the date of publication, the page numbers, and the number of pages in the article. This one is nine pages long. Following this bibliographic information, you will see a list of subjects. These subject terms tell you more about what the article is about. They can also give you some ideas for additional search terms. To see more about the article, click on the title. Again, we see publication information about the article. Then we have an abstract. An abstract is a summary of the article. Read the abstract to decide if you want to read the whole article. Be sure you use the article as your information source, not the abstract. Let's say we decide we want to look at the whole article. This article comes in both HTML and PDF formats, but most articles only have one format. To get to the HTML, just scroll down. The HTML version contains all of the words from the article, but it may be missing charts, graphs, and pictures. This version includes a feature where the computer will read the article to you. Let's click to open the PDF. The PDF format is an electronic version of the article exactly as it appears in print, including charts, graphs, pictures, etc. Notice how different this article looks than the HTML version. If you want to print the PDF, print it from here. You'll need to print the citation information separately. Back on the previous page, there are some tools on the right. You can print, email, or save the article to a file. The print link will print the citation information and the HTML only, not PDF documents. The Citation Helper and Export features give you computer-generated citations in various styles. These frequently contain mistakes, so always double-check for accuracy and formatting when using these features. Another important tool is the permalink. Use the permalink if you want to save the link to come back to the article later. The URL in the search bar will not get you back to the article. That is the gist of how to use the Discover tool, but there are times you may not want to use the Discover tool. Why? Reasons include the Discover tool doesn't include all of our databases. For example, we frequently recommend Opposing Viewpoints, LexisNexis, ProQuest databases, and Gale Virtual Reference Library to our students, but these are not included in the Discover search. Another reason is that individual databases may give you specialized search limiters that are not included in the Discover search. For example, in Business Source Complete, you can search for company information by company revenue, number of employees, and location. Using specific databases instead of the Discover search can also help you control the type of information you find. Some databases only contain information on certain subjects. Other databases contain certain formats. 
Some databases contain information for subject experts, while others are oriented to non-professional readers. How do you know which databases fit your topic? Back on the library homepage, or the Galileo homepage, click on Databases by Subject and pick your subject. Let's look at the databases for nursing. Sometimes a librarian has listed a few databases as the best databases to start with. Once you've identified the database you want, just click on the title to go to the database. Now let's say you know the name of the database you want. We frequently recommend opposing viewpoints for a freshman working on papers and speeches on controversial and current topics. So we will go to Databases by Name, A to Z, and click on O, the first letter of Opposing Viewpoints. Then you can go to the database from here. The last type of search I want to show you is the Journal Search. Use this tab when you know the name of the journal you want to use. Do not use it to look for articles by subject within the journal. For example, I want to look for an article about the cost of textbooks and the Chronicle of Higher Education. In the search box, put the Chronicle of Higher Education. Decide if you want e-journals only, or you want to also include journals physically located at the library. This helps me find out which database contains the journal and the dates included. Frequently very old or very new issues are not included. I choose this one and land on this page. From here I can look at the articles by issue or I can search within the publication. It has pre-filled the name of the journal. I add and textbooks and cost. Now I only have results within this journal. From here, I can apply additional limiters if I wish. And those are the basics of how to use Georgia State University's research databases. For more help, including how to select a database or use a specific database, contact a librarian or look for a research guide on your subject. Librarians are experts at helping students find the information they need. To contact a librarian, you can come to the library in person, call or chat with a librarian in real time using our virtual reference service right on the library homepage. For after hours help, email us from this box or search for an answer in our FAQs. Thanks for watching and happy researching!